So I wanted to take a second and show you the um, the new touch type tool in Illustrator. I, I've been using this thing a lot and I really think it's it's pretty helpful because it allows you to create text that looks like this really easily. If you tried in previous versions of Illustrator to create this thing, you'd probably be creating a bunch of little text boxes or you know converting outlines or something like that. But with the touch type tool, we can go in and just grab letters and do things to them. What I'm going to do is start over here. So let me go back over and do start text and kind of start from scratch. This is the, the typical text that we have. What I'm going to do is select the text frame and you can select the touch type tool from the tools panel. You can see right over here, touch type tool. You can also do it from the character panel. The shortcut is shift T, just actually pretty easy to remember. Once you select the tool, you'll notice this up here. It's really quick. It actually goes away really fast. But it's just telling you to click on a letter. Now, we're not going to select a bunch of letters. You're not going to drag across to select. But if you click on a letter, you'll see it's got a bounding box around it. And we've got all these things we can do. I opened the character panel just to show you what's happening here. This is basically just a visual way to change the character formatting. So, for instance, if I come to the corner here and click and drag, you're going to notice that I'm not going to be able to like stretch or squish it. But I come up, it's going to do proportionally. I'll let go and you're going to see what it's going to do. So it's going to adjust the vertical and horizontal scale. I can also go in and rotate. You'll see we've got the negative rotation and the positive rotation, depending on which way you look at it. We also have vertical scale. So if we drag this way, you can go vertical. Drag the corner. We have free move. It's kind of weird. Or anywhere in between, inside. It doesn't really matter. You can drag it wherever you want. But what that's going to do is that's actually going to change the uh, baseline shift and the, the, the uh, kerning rather, not the tracking, the kerning. If I come to the corner and go this way, you'll see it's horizontal scale. So each one of the little nodes kind of, it has its own purpose, if you will. So I'll just rotate it a little bit, maybe like that, drag it over. You'll notice that dragging one letter will affect the rest of the, the uh, letters to the right. If I kind of rotate one of them or adjust one of them, you can come to the next one. And sometimes it's kind of hard to select, but you can come to the next one and just kind of change the kerning, change the baseline shift if you want to, and make adjustments on that one as well. So like I said, it's really just going in and, and defining character or formatting, which leads me to, if you want to, you can actually create a style out of this stuff. So we could create a paragraph style if we wanted to, but it's going to be kind of weird because not all the letters have the same formatting. So if I create a character style out of it, and I, my shortcut is Option or Alt-click on the new, and I'll just call this uh, R for the letter R. You can see right there. And go out. If you click on, let's say, another letter R and just apply the character style, you'll see it applies the formatting. So we could go in and generate a series of character styles. And you get, this may or may not be helpful to you. I don't know. <laughs> but you can do things like that. So um, there we go. Now, we can also, we can't select multiple, which is unfortunate. You can't go in and grab a bunch of these and kind of move them around. But you can introduce them one at a time. Um, the last quick thing I think can be really helpful is suppose that we do take, like, let's say, let me back up here. I'll undo a little bit. We have a letter R here. If I click on it and select it, you can copy it and then go over another letter, let's say, and replace it. So I can, you know, do things like this. If I'm just doing a copy paste, basically. So you can go in and replace like another letter R that has the same exact formatting or same exact styling. Now, if I were to deselect here, click to deselect and paste, you'll see it would also do the same thing. It would create a single, but it's you're going to see what it is here, but I can convert that easily. So it's going to create a single uh, letter area, if you will, uh, to put your text in. So there's a lot of great things we can do with this. That's the uh, touch type tool.